Oh. Fate leads him who follows it. Only weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, <laughs> the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children right. in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. He was a fool. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> That's cool. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Oh, boy. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady. Huh. But her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Holy Crusader, huh? Some say she is divine, a hero sent what by those the glowing eyes. Maybe she is Azamar. No the cost, others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal. Oh, that. Intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear: if the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. And I take it that is the expansion. Siege of Dragon Spear. <laughs> Coming up next. Hello and welcome as we go straight into Siege of Dragon Spear, fresh out of Baldur's Gate the Enhanced Edition. We'll be importing our character Artorius from the previous game, our Fighter Mage. Um, I've already seen the opening cinematic. The took us to it straight after the credits of the previous game but um with that said let's waste no time and import our game this music is awesome by the way um see last time we did insane or hard i forget legacy of ball kind of sounds fun the masochist in me would probably appreciate it but yeah Last time I think we did insane without the uh, additional damage. Uh, so enemies got the maximum possible tactics, and I think they're more varied and all that. Perhaps we'll just stick with regular insane this time. A step up in difficulty. We'll see, but we're venturing forth on insane at the very least. Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance Where of that now. But Corlage knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? Corlage. You better tell the boss. Come on. They have full voice acting for this expansion, don't they? That's kind of cool if so. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Bones and evil! I know you, Minsk. Which Minsk sniffs. <laughs> well, here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. I According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. It must be who those people out there were mentioning. I noticed one person up here didn't have a voice. So maybe not fully voiced. Already, though, it's got a lot more. Just makes my life a little easier, of course. Um, so we're after Saravok's remaining followers. Okay. What do we know of our prey? <laughs> Sounds simple enough. Uh, I'd have an easier time if you came with me, Emoin. I would have an easier time. What do we know of our prey? They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Corlaz. Yeah. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok. And the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. Yes, we should. We... Will you be joining me? I really want to. I, I want, want you to, too. Help, though. What? Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, she's oh. had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. Are, are you trying to become an arcane archer? Is that a thing in uh, AD&D? That's awesome. 
I think it, I might have seen that class when I was building Artorias. Um, that's unfortunate, though. But it's probably best to do as Ju Duke Janath says. I don't remember Duke Janath. I don't think she was one of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate that we were... We interacted with. Maybe she's the replacement for, um... Uh, whoever it was Saravok replaced. Uh, yes. Tell me, uh, tell me what we know of those we hunt. They're mostly mercenaries. Oh, we've Led already got that. Wizard named Korla. Let's get to I'll it then. Behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask, and I'll do what I can. We serve the flaming fist. Um, that's good. There's a healer here too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Oh, sweet. I mean, I know about fighting undead too, undead too, but I may not have any special tools for it unless I have a cleric or a paladin. I don't think I ever really got turn undead working. Or I never really tried, but... Timora shine on you. Not that you'll need it. <laughs> Thank you, Imwen. I must find Corlaz and deal with her. And, oh, I do have my party. Except, I have someone named Safana instead of Imuin. Other than that, though, it's everyone the same. Cool. What are you, Safana? Yes, dear. Chaotic neutral thief. Oh, wait. I think I did meet you. Think. Portrait remind uh, it looks familiar at least. We get uh, two additional weapon proficiencies, bunch of saves, Thacker reduced by four, nice. Backstep multiplier increased by two, 200 skill points, um, 33 hit points, and lore increased by 24. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a bug in the previous game where if you jumped a bunch of levels at the same time, it didn't get the max benefit. Alright, what am I going to have you use, though? Well, we're definitely going to go for the short bow. Need someone to replace ammo in, apparently. And daggers might be a good choice. Or maybe two weapon style. Hmm. Yeah, the penalties are pretty bad, though, for two-weapon style. And as a thief, she can't get higher than one level of proficiency. In which case, single-weapon style is probably the better choice. As for here, we should probably up our find traps. Now the emo one is gone. Put it at a solid 100. We'll put open locks at a solid 100 as well. And... Hmm. Could... I didn't actually use Move Silently and Hide in Shadows a whole lot with her. I typically used Invisibility instead. So with that in mind, I think Detect Illusion is probably the better choice. Find those magically hidden walls and things. Excellent. How many hit points is that? 42? Not bad. What weapons do you have? You have nothing. I still have my gold. And all my book. Okay. I, I, clearly I'm not reading these. And I really don't have the time to, unfortunately, to read this many books. 
I do the same thing in the Elder Scrolls. I always want to read all the books and then I never do. If there's ever a particular book that catches my eye, I'll have to just read it on the spot. Like I did with the one that explained Ball and his companions, his compatriots. Oh, I have a Tome of Understanding. That's nice. Must be new. I don't think I had that when I left. Probably also don't need this regular splint mail. Unless... We only have regular leather armor, right? Yeah. Oh, but you can't use it. Yeah, we don't need that. This Tome of Understanding. It's just a regular one. Permanent Wisdom Rays. Oh, we know who that goes to. The one person who's guaranteed to stay in the party. Oh, here are the keys. My bags of... Aw. Oh, you... Bastards. My gem bag, my potion bag, my scroll bag. This here is a new weapon, I think. Gauntlets of Weapon Skill. Zarnus's second sword arm. Perhaps the most well-known owner of these gauntlets was a mercenary named Zarnus. He specialized in smuggling and frequently loaned these gauntlets to clients if they were to travel with him. In his eyes, an extra sword arm was always handy. Hmm. hmm gives you an extra Thacko. Who can use them? Oh. Everyone can, it looks like. My current gauntlets, um... They only give me a higher armor class. But that's basically overridden by... My spells. Therefore, the extra Thacko would be preferable. Not effective. Worse. Not effective, huh? Alright, I think I've cleaned up our inventory as best we can. Um, next up is our journal. Important events. I must find Corlaz and deal with her. Add entry. Saravok is dead. And now, we hunt what remains of his followers. I have a bad feeling about this. Done. My... How may I be of ah, there we are. Tome of Understanding. I am officially not at a minus score for wisdom. Oh, I should also double check my mage book is still good. So we have a bunch of magic missiles. It's probably fine. Um, we've got two blurs in a mirror. Probably also fine. Maybe I should take an invisibility as well. Since I don't have my potions anymore, it might be a good idea. Got our ghost armor and our dispel magic. Which I'll need to be careful about because it uses it works on me as well. Do I have the combat version in here? 
And of course, stone skin, which is amazing. Very well. I'm happy enough with those. Now, let's get a move on. What is it this time? What is this? Oh, hey. Oh, no, those are just, that's just arrows. Wait. It shall be as you wish. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take those. Okay. And this is how we got down, I take it. All right, Amelin. Good luck. Hmm. Ominous place. Uh -oh. It's too late. It's already oh, shit. gone. What's already gone? Who are you, Porios? Gone? What's gone? What are you prattling about? What are you talking about? Aren't you here for his sword? I thought. Hmm. Whose sword? Saravox? Isn't he using his sword? When we killed him? Hmm, you shouldn't think. You're obviously unused to it. Oh, God. Um, tell me more about this sword. Uh, I've come for Corlage. If she surrenders, I'll see to it. Both of you are treated fairly if by the Flaming Fist. Now, tell me more about the sword. I heard th th that Saravok's sword has disappeared from the Ducal Palace. Could it be the b blade of which he speaks? I guess it's not fully voiced, but... Far higher percentage than Baldur's Gate was. I've said too much. All you need to know is that not but death awaits you here. Turn back now where you still can. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll come into uh, contact with you again. Red light glows at the bottom of this deep chasm. A dull and dist- Oh, who is that? A dull and distant roar can be heard from somewhere below. Kind of reminds me of uh, the uh, dwarven roads in Dragon Age Origins, where the dark spawn come from. Yes, yeah, someone's in there, but they don't seem to necessarily be an enemy. Only I could complete this formula. Who the hell are you? Are you the uh, priest? The priestess they were mentioning, Amon. Oh, I think you are. Hardly scattered atop the sarcophagus. Apparently abandoned mid-game. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a minute. Alright, I'll talk to you now. Three drops of lemon balm oil. <laughs> a half pinch of powdered silver. Hmm, I don't want to interrupt. No, she's not Corlaz. I don't think she's one of her followers. I'm pretty sure she's who Imowen was talking about there. Either way, you're my enemy. No, I don't... Unless I'm misremembering. Greetings. Oh, pardon. I didn't hear you come in. I'm conducting an experiment. Hmm. Do you not hear the people playing cards at the table, too? They left recently, by the looks of it. Um... Pull the other leg, lady. What are you up to? No, 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 no. Tell me about this experiment. Oh, I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed Ooh. writings. Okay. A mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Hmm. Did you plan on paying this mercenary then? Just now, their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. If you happen to come across cobalt moss and bring some to me, okay, I'd be truly grateful. I would certainly have no issue with that if you have payment for me. Their leader, would that be Corlaz? Um, have to be cobalt moss with my magic. I might be able to concoct a substitute. Uh, no, I'm not going to mess with her. I'd be happy to fetch you some, provided you pay for the service. Their leader, would that be Corlaz? 
I believe that is her name, yes. Believe? Either you know her or you don't. No. Um... Yeah, I think I might have ruined my chance for payment here. As long as you're only here for your chemical component, I have no quarrel with you. I'll see if, you, if I see any, I'll bring you some. Oh, thank you. Do come back if you find any. Though I can see in the d d dark, I still prefer the surface. Guess she isn't the person who uh, everyone talked to. talked about. Wait, I missed, uh, right here. Oh, hello. My gem bag! And orders from Corlaz. Is it full? No. Of course not. Alright, this missive is dated two days ago. Horio. So, hey, that's the person I just saw. Gather all of your uh, all of your spare equipment in the supply room. We depart in two days. Since we put Seravok's sword on the ship to Athkatla, a suspiciously high number of people have become aware of this location. Okay, so the sword is actually gone. We must move quickly before the flaming fist arrives. If fortune smiles upon us, We'll be in Zaz's spur, but within the week. Clearly something's gone wrong. Um, there we go. What else is in here? History of the North 1. Ooh, hello. Um... I'll take the identify scroll, why not? Probably use it. Standard bottle of wine, sure. Excellent. Oh, hello. An undead. I wasn't expecting to open until Artorius got here. You might want to run away? Nah. It's probably fine, it's probably weak. Definitely weak. What's in Chill, there? creepy caverns always appeal to my aesthetics. <laughs> That's why I love you, Bayloth. Uh, ooh, invisibility, 10-foot radius. Um, I mean, that would be good for taking another person with me. Actually, 10-foot radius. I don't know. About there. Ah, but keeping them all grouped together would be a pain in the ass. I'll take it anyways. Memorize it. Ooh, a potion of invisibility. And a random skull. Maybe I'll need a skull later. I'll take it for now. Bats. And everyone was sleeping. Oh, hey, follower of Seravok. Okay, they're probably weak enough where I don't have to do anything special for them. Sword? Or not. I'm an Iron Throne commander here. Alright. In that case... Where is it? I know I have one here somewhere. Fireball. So they're probably going to come after me, so... Right about there. Yes, you want. By oh, can can I have it? it shall be as you wish. There we go. Oh, hey, there's more of them. Oh, we've got a couple of them dead. Um, Artorius, get this one. No. First cast, uh, Ghost Armor. There you go. Now get this one. Oh, shit, Bailoth. Oh, someone used Shadow Step. 
Ooh, where? Um, well. Oh, no. Okay. So that's how they're going to handle any, um, time spells. What is it this time? Let's see. Go ahead and get this asshole. Artorius. They lost, um... Actually, don't waste the magic. Let's use, um... No, not burning hands either. Ah, yeah, screw it. Magic missile. Uh, after all. There we go. Spell is still getting hit. There we go. Answer. It's always fireball. It shall be as you wish. All right, I know there's items here. How may I be of assistance? Quick loot isn't there anymore. Is that a setting I have to enable? Oh, for the record, it seems that I still have no difficulty based damage increase enabled. Um. Should I keep that enabled? I'll keep it enabled for now. I mean, I've never... There, were pl there was plenty of difficulty in the previous game, after all. Even without it enabled. Or even with it enabled. Oh, here it is. Quick loot. Yes, quick loot is my friend. Um, let's see, what do we have? Anything useful? No. Semi-cool helmet, that's about it. And bolts, which I don't use a crossbow, so. Oh, short bow for, um, and arrows for Safana here. Okay, let's move on. You have but to ask. This is where we saw, what's his name again? That person who's mentioned in the, in the letter um back away oh hey back away that guy Porios. This. uh do you not see me just destroy this group and i know i have a little damage from bailoth and safana here but oh he knows me back away artorius um it's a little late to say that after you guys hunted me tried to have me killed several times. To be fair, I was also hunting you back, but... Lay you down your arms. I have no wish to hurt you. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, either. I said what the last fella said. Well, he would have said it if I hadn't killed him first. <laughs> Attack me and you'll die, as surely as the sun will rise in the morn. Yeah, let's give them a chance. Seravok paid us well in advance for... Or paid us well for our service. But he's dead now, and I'm in no rush to join him. Everyone, lay down your arms. Oh, shit. Um. I saw you earlier yelling at me across the cavern. You mentioned a sword you thought I was looking for. What sword? Theravok's sword. We stole the blade from the Ducal Palace, but you killed the man. I thought you might claim it as your own. Mm. I mean, I'm also that... that Sounds good to me if it's good. Uh, if I do lay claim to it. Oh, I do lay claim to it. I put an end to Seravok. His blade is mine by right. Yeah, kinda, I guess. Um, why did you steal the sword? Everyone steals for a reason. <laughs> even if it's just the thrill. Yeah, but I'm sure they had a good reason. If for no other reason than it's a powerful magic, white, a ma magic item. Corlaz ordered us to. She had a buyer who offered a, her a ton of money for it. Oh, so it is very valuable. Either due to its power or its sentiment or something. Enough to smuggle us all out of the city. That's all I know. Very well. 
The flaming fist waits outside. Present yourselves to them for arrest. Are we just gonna trust them to do that? We shall do as you say. Here, take this key. You'll need it to get to the crypt's lower level, where Corlaz abides. Alright, well, that settled peaceful. Oh, at least I get the experience still. Good. I feel less bad about leaving him alive then. If they're still willing to give me experience, I'll gladly talk my way out of things. No need to be a murder hobo. Hello. They also dropped... Oh, even better. When he said drop your weapons, I didn't think they would literally actually drop their weapons. I am so happy. Potion of healing. Do more arrows for uh, Savannah mm -hmm. here. Don't need the throwing daggers. So I'm not sure what kind of cloak this is. Else. Um, I can't see in the d d dark. I still that's good. Prefer the surface. Yeah, that's that's plenty. How may I be of assistance? Really need to get a potion bag sooner rather than later. Um. Yes, Bayloth. If you would please. Actually, let's go ahead and use this. What? You're not able to use identify? You said it against your school? Wait, no, you're a sorcerer. What am I saying? Or no, sorcerers aren't allowed to use scrolls. Right. Almost forgot about that. Or oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's right, you just have to do it through there. You can use it then, can you, Bayloth? Yes, yes, you can. Cloak of Minor Arcana. Embroidered silver stars hide within the folds of the shimmering blue cloak. Wizards, especially those just beginning careers as adventurers, wear, them, uh, wear such items to aid them in their travels. As wizards grow in power and begin crafting their own equipment, they often gift these cloaks to apprentices. Hmm, caster level plus one, and lore plus ten. And it generates a random arcane scroll level three or below every day. Or, no, not every day, just however many charges it has. Well, I'm not going to turn down having a higher caster level. Hell no. What's my current cloak do? Again. Yeah, actually, on second thought, Cloak of Baldurin is really good. I'll give it to you. Probably. Yeah, instead of the Cloak of Protection. Minsk, you need this? Nope, yours is better. Okay. You have but to ask. Oh wait. Don't do that. Might be a trap. Need. Or might be a Nope, does it not need unlocking. What is it this time? You have but to ask. Nothing special. A lot of equipment. No, just mundane stuff, really. I guess I would really want it. I wonder if items in this game are, in this part of the game, are still subject to the iron, um, decay. I mean, we all have mm, magical items anyways now. Yes. So it's not an issue, yes, but dear. I'm curious. 
Yes, please take these arrows. You need them. Ooh, are those darts? Yeah, I think I'll give those darts to um, Bailoth here. Mm -hmm. I'm busy right now. No, you are not, you liar. No, throwing daggers. Uh, darts. They're there. Excellent. Yeah, instead of wasting the dart plus one, so you can just use these for now. Till you run out. Yes. A wide variety of weaponry lies within lines of these racks, all of a uniformly low quality. The owner would appear to be more hoarder than connoisseur. Y you know, I get it. I identify with this person. You have but to ask. I really do. How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. Hmm. This is not the what the tomb key is for. Clearly not. Hey um, there. Right. It's barred from the other side. Huh. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. Oh, there's a door over here. This chasm sure looks deep. Oh, hey, everyone. Do you feel warm air coming up from below? I do. Yeah, I and noticed the orange glow. Here. Fire, presumably. Hopefully not the literal fires of hell. We don't need Azimoth. Azathoth? I think Azimoth uh, saying hello. Hey, uh, how are things going? Well enough. The sentry that spoke to me mentioned a sword that was already gone. I kind of saw a note on Duke Janath's desk. It fell on the floor and I I just picked it up, honest. It said someone <laughs> broke into the palace and took Saravok's sword. Could that be it? Just picked it up, huh? I believe you, Amun. I believe you. I mean, you are good, but you're still a thief. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps, but why would she be interested in it? Well, supposedly it's worth a lot of money, but I don't think that's why. I don't know why Corlaz would take the sword, but if it's gone, she must have given it to someone else. Maybe we can find a record or shipping log in her chambers. Yeah, maybe. Definitely worth looking into. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Thank you, Imuan. Hey, uh, how are things going? Can you tell me about this place? This must be one of Corlaz's ancestors' tombs. Creepy. We should look for a way down to the lower level. Right. I bet that's where Corlaz is. Probably. I have another question for you. Sure. What's on your mind? Um. Yeah, no, I think one of the Flaming Fist mercenaries was the healer she sp uh, spoke of. I require healing. No surprise there. Talk to the Flaming Fist healer, and she'll patch you right up. Thank you. Sure. What's on your mind? What have you been doing this last few weeks? It's strange having these new arcane powers. Back in Candlekeep, I never dreamed I might be a spellslinger like Gorani <laughs> someday. Life sure has taken us to unexpected places. You more than me, I guess. I mean, it's not every day you find out that you're the offspring of a literal god. So... It's kind of cool. What made you decide to study magic? It seemed practical. After all the weird places we've been, I thought it would help if I knew a couple spells and could figure out what the magical gadgets we find are for. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree. Then, well, I had a knack for it. Magic. I like studying my spells and remembering how Gorion would do the same back in our Candlekeep well, days. Feels like I still have a connection with him, you know? Oh, he was a good guy. How briefly I knew him. I mean, he did sacrifice himself for me, though. Now, are you multi-classing, then, as, like, a wizard or a sorcerer or something? Or is it a prestige class for Arcane Archer? I guess I'll find out if I ever get you back in my party. It's good to have another mage at my side. 
I don't think there's anything that could stop us now. Oh, I know. I miss him, too. Nah, it's good to have another mage at my side. You have a point. We can talk more about this later. For now, we should keep moving. Yeah, we should. But I'm still going to talk to you anyways. Hey, yeah. How are things going? I haven't been doing this past few weeks. It's strange having these new arcane powers. Why did you study magic? Practical. Then, well, I had a knack for it. You always magic. cared more too I much like about what Ryan thought. And but the past, no. How Ryan would do the same back in our candle keep days. I know, I miss him too. You have a point. We can talk no. more about this later. Same response. For now, we should keep moving. Yes, we should. Which one of these is up there? You. You are more than welcome in my sight. Thank you. May the morning lord watch over you, my lord. How may I be of service? Hopefully I never have to fight you guys again. My accomplishments hopefully put me above suspicion. I require healing. I can provide healing as well as a few potions and scrolls. If you've the coin. Damn it. So I have to pay for it, huh? I'm gonna need a Z's. And I don't think I need the, um... Hey, Ray's dead. Oh, right, the necromancy version. Um, we don't need that. Yeah, I don't think I need... Oh, hey, uh, upgraded po healing potion. Nice. Much better. Also much more expensive. Still, though. Alright. And do you have any advice for dealing with undead? Lesser undead are mindless creatures who blindly follow their master's orders. Cold magic and poison won't hurt them. But spells that are based on fire usually work well. Right. There are three main types of undead. Skeletal, cadaverous, and spectral. Hmm, tell me about skeletal. Skeletal undead are more common than any of the living would like. They're dangerous, but their physical physicality makes them somewhat easier to deal with than other dead foes. Swords, spears, and arrows do little against them. For six slashing or piercing weapons for a hammer or a mace. Anything with a flat edge. To return them to their graves right. Bludgeoning damage is usually good against them. Davarus. Yet Daffer's undead include ghouls, zombies, and whites. Stay out of their reach. Yeah. They, they have the bad touch. They're usually slow, but horrifically strong. And their touch drains the life of their victims. Their attacks often spread disease or cause paralysis. I can offer some potions and blah blah blah. Um, oh, there's one more type. Spectral undead. Spectral undead are the most dangerous. They're cunning and powerful, and only magic, weapon, or spell can harm them. Right. I think revenants, in addition to actual specters, count as spectral undead. Amongst other things. Um, shadows don't, I don't think. Many also possess spellcasting abilities. Ghosts, oh, no, shadows do count. Ghosts, shadows, and wreaths are all spectral and dead. God, hopefully don't run into any of those. Shadows. Don't need any strength damage, thank you very much. I am good now, thank you. Hmm. Speaking of undead. No? Oh, here they come. This one looks like a zombie. Attack it, please. The fail. Oh, the flub. never mind. More noise. You will disturb my rest no longer. I will destroy you. Hmm. You're the one about to be destroyed, foul creature. I can't possibly be making any more noise than all the mercenaries clattering about. You are not one of those vermin that infest this hallowed place. And they're no friends of mine. I 
gather you're not fond of them either. If you are against them, then I task you with their destruction. Remove their leader and the rest will scatter. Return to me when this is done. Well, I mean, if all you want to do is sleep, I have nothing against you. I mean, trust me, I get it. Hmm. You ask me to kill one of your own bloodline? Blood has no meaning after death. Only darkness and silence matter. If family means nothing to you, tell me of Corlaz and her lineage. Arcana runs in our blood. In life, we worship the dead three. Right? Ours is a line of wizards. Makes of sense why they would follow the descendant of all then. Dead. From one generation to the next, we have studied the mechanism of undead. Ooh. Those who lie here lack the skill, power, or will to live eternally <laughs> as liches. Oh, I wonder if we're ever going to fight any liches in any of these games. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be... I mean, that seems like it would be the enemy of the game. Or the enemy of a very dangerous dungeon. Definitely not at 6th level at any, at any rate. Or 7th level, or even probably 10th level. I'd say a minimum of 12 to 15th level for a lich. Well, that's unsettling, but I suppose that it should be no surprise. I'll return to you when Corlaz is gone. Do not fail me. Of course. Oh, shit! Well, let's, um... Let's go back. I kind of jumped the gun there, having the, telling them to attack. I shall attend to it in a trot. We'll take these though before he comes to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it's because I robbed him. Stop my rest. In life. All right. We there we go. Dead three. Ours is a line of wizards. You, you can um. You can stop now. From one generation right. to the next. Keep going, buddy. We have studied the mechanism of undeath. This keeps going. <laughs> no one's in the room still. Lack the skill, power, 